Landon, and uh, Landon has some uh, issues with taking treats and jumping up, so we're gonna work on him a little bit today. No, no jumping. Nope, no jumping. If you notice, I got my finger around the treat, so he learns to take treats gently. And that way, if he does jump up and try to grab a treat, at least he'll do it gently. Although, we're going to try to work so he doesn't jump up. We're just going to make sure when he does get it that it takes it nice and gently. Good boy, Landon. Good boy. Sit. No jumping. Jumping. If you notice, I turned his slip lead into a harness, and I have a little bit more control over him. It controls the front part of the body rather than the neck. He can't jump if he's restricted by his chest. So when he goes to jump up, maybe he won't even jump now. See, immediately, there's no fight because it's not around his neck, it's around the front part of his body. He feels restricted, he's gonna put his legs right back on the ground. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Yo, we chased him right back to the owner's property, and I'm standing outside, and I'm and I'm, I'm yelling, yo, because I didn't want to I didn't want to go to the door, and then they take off. I didn't know if it was their property, so a neighbor comes by, and he's like, oh, that's their dog. So I go, you want to knock on the door? Because I don't want to. I mean, I fed the dog a treat, but I didn't want him to take off because the girl in the car had her this way, and I had him that way, so they couldn't run back out. Yeah, knock on the door. The lady opens the door, lets the dog in, and shuts the door and leaves the other one still running around. That's it, everyone on this block, they just open the front door and let the dog go. They're just like free to roam the fucking street all day. I mean, I just got my workout in. I'm not even kidding. I don't even know where Justin is, he couldn't keep up. Nala is wagging her tail. She's never moved her tail before on her own. Wendy, good girl. Nala, stand. Yeah. You good girl? Nala, good girl. You like that? Oh, look at you. Good girl. Good girl. It's very good. Oh, good girl. Nala, go. Come on. Come on, Nala. She is. She is. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, good. Is it just the one? Or no, she's actually doing both. All right, that's really good. I've been asked this question a million times, and it's the same answer. The, the, the pit bull breed uh, American Staffshire Terriers, Staffshire Terriers, American Pit Bull Terriers, Bull Terriers, uh, Bullies. Uh, there's so many more pit bulls than any other dog breed. It's it's just the number of the dogs out there, and because they're used for fighting. So 
because there's so many more pit bulls than anything else, more pit bulls are being abused out there. And because pit bulls are used to fight, there is nothing associated with fighting that is not abuse. So those are two reasons why the pit bulls are the most abused, because they're used for fighting and they're also the most overbred uh, dog on the planet. Vente, papi, vente. Tú no tienes tricks ni nada. Mira para eso. Qué fue, mi amor. Qué fue. A curarlo. Good boy. A un veterinario. Good boy, Bobby. Vente. Come, Bobby. Sí, el señor me dijo. She's about six years old and came to us after Hurricane Sandy destroyed the shelter that she was living in at the time. Um, so she's been at, you know, in a shelter environment for quite a few years. Due to that, she can be a bit shy with new people, but once she warms up to you, she is your best friend for life. She is super loyal and loving and looking for the perfect forever home. Um, she would do best with an experienced leader who is patient and, you know, willing to put in some extra effort to gain her trust and she loves company of a submissive male dog. So if you're interested in making her the newest member of your family, you can fill out an adoption application at nybullycrew.org. I love how she calms down right away. Oh yeah, she That's really great. does. Sitting it's on just, my foot. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to be close to you. <laughs> Don't push anything with her. You know, a lot of people, like we have this conversation and then you get home and you're like, oh, she's great, you know? And then you start pushing things on her. You know, trying to take a bone out of her mouth. Uh, you know, doing kissy face. Look, mm -hmm. I, I make out with my dogs, but you need to give her time to adjust, and I don't mean like 72 hours, I mean she needs time. Don't, don't push everything on her, just... 
she's young, you're gonna have her for 10 years. You'll have plenty of time to do kissy face and Google Gaga, <laughs> which, which eventually is what you're gonna do. And right. we love that, right. you know, I do it, and, and we love that our people do it. But you gotta just take everything slow with her. Okay. okay, I mean, just the breed alone is very, you know, they get, they're very fired up. Right, so you guys, do you guys like the breed or? Love the breed. Okay, so, let me call you right back. So, then you know the breed, you know, and she's great. Just keep everything, you know, nice, calm, cool. You can still love her, but just not over right. doing. You know, right, right. let's not spoil her Don't yet. Don't overstimulate her. Yeah. Right, let's gotcha. not spoil her yet. Gotcha. Would be the best way I, I, I could explain. Okay. 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 All right, boss. Great. Good girl, you give kisses. That's so good. Good boy. Oh, good boy, buddy. Nice. Oh, you give kisses. That's a good girl.